Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Mountain Blade where we have just won a castle. Now this is mine, I'm hoping. I know a few people have actually said that, you know, if you fight with uh, friends and allies that you know, they have a chance of getting the castle, it's uh, dependent on how many troops and stuff you've committed, but we're the only ones who was in this particular bit that won the siege. Um, I know I picked up, like, their weapon, but I'm going to have my pointy stick back when I... I'm going to go find my pointy stick just in case. Are they actually soft? Can I? Oh. I, I better still have my pointy stick. Let's see, we, we did get a good few people wounded, but it's mainly the named characters. And we killed lots of them. Any veterans? Oh, we might be able to capture some veterans. Oh, look. Oh, no, they're all prisoners that could be released. Um... Yeah, well, you're mine, I believe, knight. Um, Swati and men at arms, let's hire you. Um, oh, what's for Nords? 14, 5, 8, 14, veteran, 22. The Nords are good for castles and sieging them, aren't they? So I might use this as the opportunity to get some of the Nords. Uh, let's take the Warriors, the Trained Footmen, and the Veterans. I don't rate the Nords as archers, or I don't think we should rate the Nords as archers. And let's get all of our guys back. Crossbowmen. Sharpshooters, definitely. Um, sergeants. I'm not that fussed about. Or infantry. That's the route that I don't upgrade at all. Um, but Swati and Footman, yes, because we can recruit them to how we want. Skirmishers can go up to sharpshooters. How are the Sea Raiders like? Oh, we can't talk. Um, well, we still have room, so let's definitely hire our countrymen. And the rest of the Nords, just so that we've got a full army again. Even the Sea Raiders. Well, our cost has gone dramatically. Not some bad equipment. Or I guess bent spears, but doesn't seem that bad. How much are you worth? 40 something. 12, 25, 4, 4, 19. 26, 48, 48. 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 48. Yeah, that'll do. Return. Go away. Yes? Uh, the castle has fallen to your troops, and you now have full control over the castle. It is time to send word to the king about your victory. I request that the castle be awarded to me. Seems to belong to no one. I take a walk around the courtyard, wait here some time. Uh, let's go to the Lord's Hall. It is my castle. I mean, you're my men, aren't you? Swati and Sergeant, yes. Swati and Sergeant. I just recruited them. It's only a... It's, it's not a... You know, look, brilliantly looking thing, but this is my castle. Uh, let's wait here for some time. Why would it cost me? An amusement spotted near my castle. You receive a message from the king. He's decided to grant... And the nearby villages of Trisha. To me, yes! And all the incomes due. And titles to hold in his name for as long as you maintain your oath of homage. Yes. Uh, with a brief ceremony, you are officially confirmed as the new lord of Jeb 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 Jebediah Castle. <laughs> Don't say that. And its bound villages. Tadisman and its bound village. Oh, there's only one bound village. Uh, they will make a fine part of your fiefdom. You can now claim the rent and revenue from your personal estates here, draft soldiers from the populace, and manage the lands as you see fit. However, you are also expected to defend your fief and your people from harm, as well as maintaining the rule of law. Of course. My castle. 
Uh, don't want to be waiting some more time here. I wonder, is there anyone... I know it's my castle now, but... Everyone else seems to have other lords and stuff in their castle. Yay, look. Our flag. Let's take a walk around the courtyard. It's all mine. I mean, it's mine. I remember jumping down from the battlements over there, landing there, and slaying loads of the... Uh, Vergians, or whoever they were. You was in a battle with me, weren't you? Yeah, you were... Prison guard. Oh, no, I didn't have any prison guards, did I? Um, let's... Let's talk to you, prison guard. Good day, my lord. Will you be visiting the prisoners? Um, yes, unlock the door. Do we have prisoners? Um... I know that they won't be up, but I'm curious, can we walk up here? Can we go up here? F? No. Can't climb that. <laughs> uh, is there any prisoners? Can we actually see the ones that we know we have? Why is there no doors on these prison cells? I have prisoners, so why are they not here? Um, station garrison here, wait for some time. Manage this castle. Build a prisoner tower, build a messenger post. How much is it? Let's see, take 5,000 of the night. I don't think we have that much. Let's station some guards, though. I think I'm gonna dump my entire army here and recruit a new one. Uh, keep some of, keep the knights. Because just having some good knights... I'll keep the knights and the sharpshooters. Yeah, the, the, the top right people. And I'm going to... Um, footman. And I'm going to almost dump the rest of them here. So how do I... A give, yes. I guess when there's one over there. Let's see. Give, and if I clicked on him, I can take. Good, good, good. For now, you're supposed to be good at castles, and remember, the guys that are most likely going to be coming to kill you captured you and made you prisoners. I gave you your... I gave you your freedom back. But I request service for that. Because I think these guys will train themselves up while just being stationed here. Some skirmishers, some infantry, a sergeant. Give... Nord Archers, and the Sea Raiders. Of course, the North Hunter as well. Uh, the horses are going to be... Horsemen are going to be useless in the castle, because they're going to have to dismount anyway, so I might as well try and train up my men-at-arms into knights as well and keep them with me. Done. Uh, station a garrison here, manage a castle. Wait some time. It doesn't cost me any money. We'll wait till the morning, and then I'll consider on what we're going to do next. So that's my village as well now. We've captured these. It does really make the border look a lot more natural having this. I guess you must be attached to the to the city. Oh wait. Let's leave. And I want to go talk to my city first. Didn't we raid this place? <laughs> They're not gonna like me. <laughs> They hate me. Um, hmm. Go to the village centre. Is there a pub that I can buy everyone a drink at? Hello, village elder. Good day, sir, and welcome to Talisman. I am the elder of this village. Um, I want to buy some plot supplies. Have you seen the enemy around here recently? I'm sorry, sir, we have neither seen any lord. Ah, lies. I'm the enemy as far as you're concerned. I want to buy some supplies. I'll pay with gold. Of course. Do you want to buy goods or cattle? Uh, I want to buy food supplies. I want to buy some of your cattle. Um, let's have a look at your food supplies. They're not food. But I think they are reasonably cheap. I guess they should be because I own it, but let's return. Um, buy some supplies. I want to buy some of your cattle. Oh. Uh, 
Do you have any tasks? My good sir, our village has been going through such hardship lately. The harvest has been bad, and recently some mercenary bandits took away with our seed grain. That may have been me. But we had received from the planting season. If we cannot find some grain soon, we will not be able to plant our fields, and we'll have nothing to eat for the coming year. If you could help us, we'd be in your debt forever. Hmm, how much grain would you need? Seven packs of wheat. Um... Then I'll go and find you the wheat you need. And let's leave. Should be a simple idea of just running back to this this town and you know going to buy some. I don't like leaving my castle undefended. But it'll be fine, it'll be fine. How much is our wage? Only 900, because you don't pay them as much when they're stationed. That's not my castle. <laughs> I go to the marketplace, the goods merchant. Please say you have a lot of grain. Oh, you have no grain. You have flour. You have spice. You have wheat. Is wheat what he asked, they asked for? I'm going to buy the wheat just in case. Uh, trade you for a shiny sword. In fact, let's get rid of all of that. 32, 34, 31, 36, 8, 22. No, it's faster, but I like the maneuverability I have with mine. 39, 36. If you had a better charge, that would have been good, but or maybe a, a considerable considered trade, but no. Let's leave here reports, no quests, that's it. No, they do want wheat. Good. Um hmm. In that case, maybe if we go to the other surrounding villages? Uh, let's see. Recruit volunteers, of course. Get some more men. Request supplies. I'd like to buy them, obviously. Oh, that's another wheat. Good, good, good. Uh, we have plenty of bread. We do plenty of honey. Oh, we only have one honey now, so yes, we need another honey. Actually, we only have one of a lot of things. We only have one sausages. That's all they have in food wise, but let's leave. Um, next village. Well, I really want to be heading towards a town because it will get you know more chance of being able to buy bulks of stuff. So let's come over here. Lord somebody of oh, there escape captivity. Damn him. Recruit some more volunteers. Six, lovely. Uh, buy some supplies. Another bag of wheat. How many have we got now? Three. I'm pretty sure we should have three. We also need a cheese. Any out? Oh, we have two chickens still. Two punnets of or three punnets of apples. Uh, we only have one butter. Uh, one pig. Let's get another one. And, um, yeah, it's fine. Return. Let's leave. Well, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, that is all we have time for today. Uh, we're going to march over to our king's hometown. Hopefully there'll be enough wheat for us to buy there. But we'll do that in the next episode. As always, I would like to thank you for watching. And I'll say goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.